MIUI 12.5 stable version is finally released for Redmi Note 7. It's not Redmi Note 8. Yes, we have Redmi Note 8. We've installed the MIUI 12.5.3 stable version which we got in Redmi Note 7. And of course, Redmi Note 8 also has this ported room. Redmi Note 7 has the official one, but Redmi Note 8 has the ported room. We have Redmi Note 8 and we have installed the MIUI 12.5.3 stable version. Redmi Note 7 today got the China stable official China stable based on MIUI 12.5 so as Redmi Note 8 also has this update right now and yes Redmi Note 7 got based on Android version 10 so yes Redmi Note 8 also got based on Android version 10 as it's supported room from Redmi Note 7 so all the Redmi Note 7 things like Android version 10 all the things are present here but including that it's Redmi Note 8 so we need to talk about Redmi Note 8 Android version 10 is pre-installed by default and you get the June security patch which you get here by default it's MIUI 12.5 5.3 stable version so it's based on MIUI 12.5 all the MIUI 12.5 goodies are available as it's not India stable India and global stable always just lack of features but here we have all those interesting features available for you like in special features game turbo video toolbox floating windows etc are available for example the new privacy protection option is available for you which you can enable or disable of course a lot of options are available in settings this looks good and this looks better if you compare it with the india stable or the global stable the wallpaper and personalization section is the main thing in miui 12.5 the main change in miui 12.5 ui so yes it's available super wallpapers are not there those are removed you get by default in redmi note 7 but here you don't have by the way it's based on xiaomi eu so they've added that but i've removed that it's not worthy so yes if you want full stability good smoothness nice this is smooth this is quite smooth as it's based on android version 10 so it is smooth and you will definitely love this if you're looking to install miui 12.5 talking about the safety net status one of the best thing about this build is the safety net status is passing and also let me just clear with you one thing that you don't need even magisk magisk it's it's recommended to install magisk by the way installation is a little bit complicated you need to install this room file alongside with this you need to install magisk because without magisk it's not worthy after that if you install magisk you might get some errors so it's better to install the room alongside with that magisk i will provide you the tutorial in the description for everything mm -hmm. and alongside with that as you can just see magisk hide i have not enabled this if i have not enabled the magisk hide here and still the safety net status is passing it's quite good it's quite worthy by the way and also it has some little lack of features for example the volume panel is not from the miui 12.5 and everything is same from the redmi note 7 nothing else is extra is changed only one two extra changes were there some device specific changes but other things are same at least they have the new camera so yes actually not the new camera by the way if you compare it with the miui 11 it's a miui 12 camera so yes at least something different but no new ui unfortunately but it's not that much a different thing a lot of beta versions are already available official miui 12.5 beta versions are already available for redmi note 8 so if it's just for those if you want to experience the miui 12.5 china stable right now because it's not officially released for the redmi note 8 users you saw all these things are working perfectly fine video mode is looking good i'm not sure if it was working perfectly fine or not as supported room so you might face some little bit of bugs like this so you can try out google camera i haven't tried out that but gcam should work definitely fine even though the portrait mode should work too but here the portrait mode is not working in the default camera so yes in the default camera you might face some bugs it's better to use the g cam else things are actually same this is the fix which i will upload there to how to fix that sound distortion you might see the sound distortion that will be fixed with this guide very easy everything i have already shown you till now is this this was done this was all thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video goodbye have a nice day Floating through the air